Yes, hello friends, it is NBA All-Star Weekend. Okay, you guys know me when it comes to NBA All-Star Weekend. I love NBA All-Star Weekend. I cannot say that enough, so let's do this. Oh yeah, and if my lighting was a little bit weird in this video, I apologize, my bad. And as I say every year, the BBVA Rising Stars Challenge is for the first and second year players of the NBA. It's also called the Rookie vs. Sophomore Game because that's what it was called when I was growing up, so that's what I like to call it. Yes, so it is NBA All-Star Weekend 2016. This is the first time in NBA history that the NBA All-Star Game is played outside of the United States. The first time ever in Toronto, Canada. Oh yeah. This game is literally the big kickoff for NBA All-Star Weekend. This is the NBA All-Star Game for the first and second year players. And if you guys didn't know, this game is virtually all offense, and I truly mean that. Up until about the four minute mark, there's literally like no defense played. There's a whole bunch of three-pointers, there's a whole bunch of alley-oops, and it's just so fun to watch. So the format for this game is Team USA versus Team World. All the international players of the NBA and all the NBA US born players, rookie versus sophomores going head to head. And Team USA wins 157 to 154. 157 to 154. And you guys can honestly argue that the past couple of years, there haven't been that many crazy highlight dunks. This game is an alley-oop fest and it is a dunk fest, but over the past few years I've seen a lot of crazy great highlights and I feel like the last few years this game has lacked that because the players really do want to challenge each other and each player wants to show what he has to offer to the NBA. And the reason I say that is because yes there were a lot of great highlight dunks and a lot of great alley-oops, but I feel like it, it literally has changed over the past five to seven to even ten years. It's changed over that amount of time. Now don't get me wrong, it is a highlight fest. This game is nothing but NBA highlights for NBA fans to enjoy, but do you guys get what I'm saying? So statistics for Team USA, Team USA with a total of 157 points, Zach Levine with 23 minutes, 30 points, and four assists, Jordan Clarkson, 23 minutes, 25 points, five rebounds, and five assists. He might have won this thing if he didn't have those five turnovers. Teammate of Jordan Clarkson, D'Angelo Russell, 16 minutes, 22 points, and seven assists. He really did have a great first half. And Devin Booker, who was completely snubbed for this game, he was not originally picked, but was an injured reserve because Nerland's Noel was out, so Devin Booker replaced him. Devin Booker in this game, 18 minutes and 23 points and I really did feel like he had a great game despite only playing 18 minutes. If you guys didn't know, if you're a first time viewer, I do live in Phoenix and the buzz about Devin Booker is real. I'm so excited for Devin Booker's future and he played a great game. And the statistics for Team World, Andrew Wiggins who was the BBVA Rising Stars Challenge MVP last year, 29 points. Chris Paps Porzingis, who if Team World would have won this game, which it was really close, he definitely would have been MVP. 30 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists, and put on a show. This guy is for real. Yes, I know he's in his rookie year, but I am saying that Chris Paps Porzingis is for real. Nikola Jokic, yes, I hope I'm saying your name right. 12 points, 8 rebounds, and 4 assists. Had a quiet, good game. He almost had a triple-double. And Emmanuel Moutier with 30 points and 10 assists. Can you guys believe that there were 400 minutes played total in this game? Statistics for Team USA. Team USA shot 56% from the field, 41% from the three. Team World shot 60% from the field, 39% from behind the three-point arc. Team USA scored 157 points, and Team World scored 154, as NBA All-Star Weekend is upon us. Let's go! That's right, so I've done this review for the past two years, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I hope you guys enjoyed my review for the BBVA Rising Stars Challenge Game 2016. Please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Please follow me on all my social media links. 
The links will be down in the description below. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Please follow me. I really do appreciate it. And as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Happy NBA All-Star Weekend 2016. If you guys are a first time subscriber to this channel, I make NBA videos, in particular Phoenix Suns videos, but each and every NBA All-Star Weekend I make a ton of videos. So if you guys like what you've seen here and you want to subscribe, please subscribe and I appreciate it. Thanks guys.